Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm bringing to you another tutorial on how to make a DIY a little princess dress. My granddaughter and my grandson is going on a little junior prom from preschool. So I looked at dresses and things, but I decided to make something on my own. So I'm going to do this little video to bring you along my step to step tutorial. On the table, you'll see in front of me, I have a half a yard of sequins that I bought from Joanne's fabric. Um, I also have one of my granddaughter's t-shirts. And what I'm doing is I'm outlining the way I want the shirt to fall because I wanted it off the shoulder. So I'm outlining how I want it to fall. And what I would do there is I use a piece of bar soap. Because I had a little white pencil, but it wasn't coming through enough for the sequence. So I'm going to use the bar so to go over what I want. There you have it. Like I said, I used the soup because the white pencil wasn't coming through on the sequence enough for me. Um, and I wanted to make sure I got a good cut. So, I don't know if you can see it. See the little outline? And that's how I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to hand stitch it, put it together. And I'm going to make her a little tutu. It's red. And then we'll be back. Um, back in business and we will show how pretty and adorable she looks and how it comes out. There we have it, me cutting it out. Then 
नहीं है खराब है I'm gonna get a piece of um, material to put on top and cut it out. And that will be the lining so that the sequence is not scratching her little skin. But I believe it's gonna be beautiful. This is all the little pieces of sequence that came out that I'm taking off the table because I'm not gonna put them out just yet. I might use them a little bit later, maybe to um, put them on the tutu with some clear glue. See, so once I grab all those together, I'll work something out with that. All right, I don't have a piece of lining, but what I do have is a dress that I bought from Korea. You know, how you bought the stuff online, and it's like, oh, it's cheap, you know what I mean? So, oh, it was pretty look good online on them, but then when you get it here, it ain't what it's supposed to be. So I had this dress that I wore for them, and instead of sending it back, because I swear it took like eight months for it to come, that's what it seemed like anyway, um, I'm going to use that for a line, because I'm not going to use the dress, because I didn't like it, it was ugly. So I'm just going to cut it up and use it. So I'm not going to go out and buy nothing else, because okay? they didn't even have a liner in this. So the material on this dress is, is nice, it feels good up against the skin, so it will go good underneath. Um what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna lay it out like this. And draw me a lining. In fact I need to double it up because I need lining for the uh tutu. Straight pins, like straight pin the two together. So I need to be closer to my right. This is DIY, making things that you have in your house do what it do. piece of lining that I cut out. So I'll do this. Cut it on the seam because it's a seam. Let me see if I need this. 
seem this work for me. I think, I think I'm going to leave it in seeing that's there already. And then just open a piece of material that I have. I think we'll let's see because that's that was the chin. I think I just gonna cut it off so it'll lay right. What I didn't do, I didn't split the cut up here because this is the part that's going to go over the shoulder. So I wanted a nice smooth seam. So I left that little hook, hook there when I, I made sure I cut it on an angle that was already attached together so that I had that automatic hook. Oops, sorry. And this one I have so far. I did the lining. I got everything in with a pin. And I'm going to wait till she come home and I'm going to try it on her. Let's see how far in I will take it to make it slender fitting. Then this I'm going to work on the tip too. I'm going to use again some of the same material. I have a waist measured at 20 inches. So I'm just going to take this and measure this 20 inches because this is going to be my lining. I'm going to put the lining. So, I have it about this wide, so 20 inches, and I have her
All right, so I'm just going to do right now just a mid draft. I'm just going to cut this 20 inches off so that I have that. And then I'm going to try to line it on her before I even cut the tutu. Because I want to make sure everything is on point when it fits. Aha, I just thought of it. Because I did the top already. I measured the top because I have her from shoulder to shoulder. Have her from neck to foot. She's 31 inches tall. So. I have the top already. I'll take from here, come down 31 inches. I say I want this to be 31 inches all the way down, cause it's to the foot. So here, then I bring it down to here. purpose of doing this is to get the length of the tutu that I want from yep so this brings me 31 inches right here so this would be her little waist at 18 to 31 okay so her waist is Say so one to eighteen inches. One to eighteen. Say so eighteen inches left. This is not that long. Yeah, because that's a, that's about my mom. Yeah, because she got little long legs. So she that's to the foot. Now to the foot. That's the back. Because what I was thinking was I was gonna make two too high in the front, stopping at the knee and the back dropping down with like a tail. So that'll be there on 18. So I will stop it at the knee and maybe maybe 11 in the front. So I'll do 11 inches in the front on the tutu, and I'll do 18 inches in the back on the tutu. So she'll have it and then the way it like a little train. What I'm doing is I'm cutting it longer so that I can measure her when she come in. Because it's best to cut it longer than to cut it too short, and then I don't have enough. So I cut it longer right now so I can measure this around her waist and know exactly from there. And then I'll, when I cut some more, I'll take it up here because this dress already has the hem and the stitches, so I'm not going to bother that. I just want to let that be.